What's up, guys? It is Kate Sitcher here, and I'm bringing you guys with some more Kingdom Hearts 3 news for you guys today. Um, so, I just woke up, and I'm fucking miserable right now. I went to bed at 3 o'clock last night, and I'm recording this at 8.30, so I did not get a lot of sleep last night, obviously. Um, but I woke up to this news, and hey, it's kind of my job to report on this, so why do we just do it while we can? Uh, so sorry, this video is a little sloppy, but hey, let's get through this to the best of ease that we can. So, yeah, with that out of the way, uh, why don't we just get into the news? So today we got three really awesome news stories for you guys, um, and they're all from this one interview that Tetsuya Nomura gave with Ngeki PlayStation. I'm probably saying that wrong as fuck, but hey, and that's a hard name to pronounce anyway, and I'm sucking pronouncing stuff, so hey. Let's just deal with it. Um, and they're all pretty awesome in their own right. So, yeah, why don't we just get into the first one? So, this is really awesome news right here. Yes, it kind of sucks in a way. But, hey, it's still really awesome to know. Um, so, according to Tetsuro Nomura, um, they have decided a release date for Kingdom Hearts 3. Over there at Team Osaka, over there where they're developing the game, they have apparently come down with a release date for the game. But they say they are not going to reveal it just yet. And since the Geeky PlayStation is a Japanese magazine, um, he's probably referring to the Japanese release date of the game. Um, who knows? They may have come up with the North American and European release dates of the game. Who knows? Um, he's being very vague here, but all he's saying is that they have a release date. Um, but as far as we know, yes, they have come up with a Japanese release date of the game. Because they do pretty much everything first in Japanese, so... I think they would come up with the Japanese release date first. So it seems like Tetsuya Nomura is trying to hide the release date from us for Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, is that so? So, why are you doing that, Tetsuya Nomura? Why are you doing that? Okay, what the hell did I just do? <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, it's nice to know that we actually get a release date for the game. Yes, it sucks that he's hiding it from us. Um, it would be awesome if he revealed it now, but he's probably waiting to reveal it because it's probably a long ways off if that's the case, because... If they have a release date down, they don't want to reveal it, and they didn't reveal it at E3. Um, it's probably a long ways off than we think it is. Um, in my opinion, I say we're going to get this game around late fall 2016. That's the earliest, I say. Um, and at the latest, it would be summer to fall of 2017. That's kind of my uh, thing in there. So I'm thinking more than likely it's going to be spring of 2017. But, you know, that's just me. So, hopefully it will get released earlier, because that would be fucking awesome. But, in my opinion, I say around fall 2016 to spring of 2017. But since we're talking about Kingdom Hearts 3's release date here, I gotta at least mention this, because every other Kingdom Hearts YouTuber reported the fuck out of this. I mean, it was crazy. Um, and it seems like the, I'm the only one that did not, and for specific reasons. Um, so, I just gotta at least mention this. Um, so, as you all remember, a little while back, as in last week, um... There was this leak going around that said Kingdom Hearts 3's release date was going to be like March 2016, Spring 2016, something like that. Um, that was because they saw some calendar in the trailer that m m matched up with the March 2016 dates, you know, which I just thought was a coincidence. And there was also some leaked trailer that was put out that said Spring 2016. It was pretty convincing, yes. Um, but as you can look further into it, yeah, that's pretty much bullshit. Um, and as, I can, as far as I can remember, it was confirmed that that was fake. Um, so, yeah. The March 2016 release date thing, that's fake. Um, so, that's why I did not report on it, because I knew it was fake from the fucking beginning. And wouldn't they have said it in the E3 trailer if they were going to do that? Because I know they're trying to keep us in the dark about a lot of stuff with Kingdom Hearts 3, but God, not like that. They would at least reveal all the worlds of the game. You know, they just won't drop it out on the PlayStation Store. Like, hey, here's Kingdom Hearts 3, you know, without giving us a bunch of information first. Um, so, yeah. That's why it was fake from the beginning, and I can't believe people believe it. So yeah, that's why I did not report on it. Now with that little thing out of the way, I just gotta get that off my chest. Uh, yeah, let's move into the next news story. Tetsuya Nomura also confirms that um, he is still deciding on what the secret movie and ending of Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be. And I'm guessing what he means by that is secret movie, of course. Um, the thing that you'll probably get when you finish it on critical mode or something like that. The secret movie that you get at the end for doing all the work. Um, and also the ending, like the ending cutscene or something like that. I guess that's what he means here. But he's still deciding on what those two things are going to be. And he also confirms that he will finish the fight with Xehanort, but not in the series altogether. And yes, we already knew that at this point. Um, he stated it many times in past interviews that the Kingdom Hearts series is not going to be ending with Kingdom Hearts 3. There's still going to be more story after it. It's probably going to start a new story after Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, so for you guys out there who are wanting Kingdom Hearts 4, you are going to get it in some way, shape, or form. So I'm not surprised at all that he is not complete with these scenarios for the ending and the secret ending yet. Um, 
So, why am I not surprised? Because Kingdom Hearts 3's ending better be one of the best endings ever. Because Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be the end of the story so far. One of the most epic storylines of all time, in my opinion. Um, and you got to have an epic ending for an epic story like that. And for quite an epic story like Kingdom Hearts, that's got to be awesome. So he's got to take his time and make the best ending possible for this game. So I do not blame you if you need a lot of time to uh, come up with the ending for this game. And the secret movie better be fucking awesome too. So Tetsuo Nomura, take your time. I will not be blaming you if you are taking a lot of your time to make the ending for this game. So yeah, take your time Tetsuo Nomura. I won't blame you. Moving on into the last news story, which I find very surprising and I find very interesting as well. Um... So, in here, I'm guessing they were asking him about um, whether or not there's going to be uh, many new worlds in this game. He was probably asking him about the worlds, what new worlds are going to be in there. Um, so, he replied with that, apart from the Olympus world already confirmed for Kingdom Hearts 3, because he's shown that in pretty much all the trailers. Um, so, we know that's going to be in there, and probably Twilight Town and Destiny Islands as well, but that will probably be a little part of the game. Um, aside from those worlds, pretty much all other worlds that are going to be in the game are going to be new. And of course, one of those worlds is going to be Tangled, which we got confirmed last week at E3 with that whole trailer thing. Um, so yeah, I find that pretty awesome, in my opinion. Um, keep in mind that not all of the uh, old worlds are not going to be returning, because he said all, almost all of the worlds are going to be new. So there are going to be some um, returning ones in there. But still, we're going to be getting a shit ton of new worlds. I'm guessing most of them are going to be new. Um... So that's pretty awesome to know right there, and I'm guessing that pretty much confirms that a Frozen World is going to be in there, because I think Disney is kind of forcing him to do it, because Frozen is such a marketable thing, and I'm guessing they want to put in something that's very marketable, like Kingdom Hearts. Um, so they're probably pressuring him a lot to put Frozen in there, since it's such a huge franchise now. Um, so yeah, I would not be surprised if Frozen is in there. In fact, I can probably guarantee you that it's going to be in there. Um, and as far as the Star Wars world goes, this gets more validity to the rumor that, yes, it's going to be in there. So I would not be surprised if that is in there as well. Um, as far as some other worlds, um, Wreck-It Ralph. Ooh, Wreck-It Ralph, that would be fucking awesome right there. Um, I can list so many reasons why that would be awesome, but I want to keep this video at least 10 minutes long. So I was just going to keep it short. Um, also, Treasure Planet, that's a thing that's been speculated a while. That would be very awesome right there too. People wanted some Pixar worlds in there too, like Toy Story. Um, I don't really know about that. It would be cool to see in there, but it would be pretty interesting to see what they would do with it. Um, and that would also coincide with the release of Toy Story 4 as well, which as far as I can remember is uh, uh, June 18th, 2017. There you go. Um, so that may coincide with the release if it's like released in spring 2017 or something like that. Um, so yeah, that may be something that they may do in their Pixar world. But cars... I don't know about that. That would be really weird. <laughs> um, so yeah, people are wanting that there as well. There's so many worlds that people want in Kingdom Hearts 3. And it's awesome to know that a lot of these worlds are going to be new. So keep on speculating on what worlds are going to be in there. Because I'm sure Tetsuo Nomura listens to your guys' feedback. And he's taking that into account. So make sure to keep on suggesting worlds for Kingdom Hearts 3. Because we may get some new worlds in there somehow. So that's pretty much all I want to talk about with you guys today. Make sure to write down in the comments below your opinion on this news. What do you think about them deciding a release date and holding it back? Are you fine with that or do you want the release date now? Um, also, what is your opinion on most of the worlds being new in Kingdom Hearts 3? Make sure to write down in the comments below your opinion on this news. Also, make sure to subscribe and like this video because that would be really awesome if you did. My goal is to reach 5,000 subscribers, so if you want to reach that goal, make sure to subscribe. This has been K Central, your normal effects over the Kingdom Hearts, and I will see you guys later. Bye!